thesis. It has been discovered that stem cells have the potential to help those with diseases such as Alzheimer's and diabetes. However, some people feel it is immoral because the use of stem cells means that you are discarding potential embryo. Others feel that they are discarded tissue and not considered to be a living organism yet. The fight towards banning and legalizing stem cell research continues to grow, and there is little knowing when or what decision will be finalized. What are stem cells? They are very early stage cells that have the ability to turn into other specialized types of cells. They are able to renew themselves by using mitosis. They have not yet been assigned to a muscle or blood cell yet. Because stem cells have the ability to turn into many types of cells, they are able to replace damaged cells due to, for example, cancer. How do scientists obtain stem cells for their experiments? Some stem cells in research have come from discarded embryos, which have been stored during in vitro fertilization clinics. Another way in which scientists obtain stem cells is through donations by others. If a family decides not to have any more children, they may be asked to donate embryos as a way of furthering research. If scientists have permission, they may take out stem cells from aborted fetuses. What are some pros of stem cell research? Stem cells have the potential to cure many life-threatening diseases such as leukemia, diabetes, and Parkinson's. They can be used as a way to test new drugs, which could lessen animal testing and create more tests to a wide range of different cells. Scientists are able to assign stem cells different areas to cover in order to increase the amount of certain necessary cell or replace other damaged cells and tissues. If stem cells seem very useful, why is stem cell research such a great debate? Stem cell research is considered to be unethical. Blastocysts are destroyed when using stem cell research, which some people consider to be human life. As B.A. Robinson said, many pro-lifers believe that human life in the form of an ovum and spermatozoon becomes a human person at the time of fertilization. They view killing an embryo in order to extract his stem cells to be a form of homicide. They are generally opposed to such research. Some background information. In 1906, Alexander Moskomov named stem cells. In 1981, two different teams of researchers were able to isolate stem cells from embryos of mice. By 1994, National Institutes of Health recommended federal government fund research on embryonic stem cells. The next year, the Dickey Amendment was passed, which prohibits government funding on experiments that destroy human embryos. In 1998, two researchers announced that they discovered how to isolate human stem cells. In 2000, the National Institutes of Health announced certain laws to be followed thwarting the Dickey Amendment to allow funding for embryonic stem cell research. In 2001, the President Bush stopped NIH funding to research involving embryonic stem cells. President Obama enacted Executive Order 13505 in 2009, which gives permission to the Director of NIH to conduct any responsible and scientifically worthy human stem cell research. Conclusion Stem cell research has created great controversy throughout the years. It started off as an interesting new discovery and soon led to one of the greatest issues in America. The constant struggle between the use of stem cells and the restriction of stem cell research continues to attract the public's attention today. Many people agree that stem cell research is very useful for the treatments of diseases. However, there are others who feel that ethics plays a more important role in stem cell research rather than the actual use of it. Although stem cell research may seem morally wrong to some, it is important that science uses its recent discoveries and research to help those whom are actually living battle the diseases that could lead them to die at an earlier age. This is the works cited page.